What's going on, guys? Welcome back. My name is Dustin, and last time what we did is we gave our player some movement using a script. So today what I want to do is, uh, so when we move around our player, it's kind of boring seeing him just kind of slide around the screen like this. So what I want to do is I want to set up some animations to make him a little bit more lifelike. So first thing I want to do is I want to go to Window, I want to go down to the Animation, and I want to open up the Animation window. So that just popped it up here as a free-floating window for me. I'm going to dock this down here uh, next to our game window. Um, and then, so now what we can do is we can create some animations for our player here. So if we go ahead and highlight the player first, make sure it's highlighted. Um, otherwise, it'll create an animation on whatever else you have highlighted. And I'm just going to go ahead and click Create down here in the box. So now what I want to do is first, I want to make sure we save this to the right folder. So up here, I'm just going to go into our Assets folder and then Animations. And I'm going to call this animation uh, Walk Up. Just like that. So now what I want to do is in our art folder, in our character folder, I want to scroll down and find our walking up animation here. He's down here at the bottom. And it's these guys right here. So I'm just going to open that up and I'm going to highlight all four of these. I'm going to click the top one, hit shift, and then click the bottom one. And then I'm just going to go ahead and drag all of these in here like that. So now what I want to do is going to put these four little blue dots, blue uh, diamonds here. And these are each of our uh, sprites that we're using for this. I'm just going to drag these. Oh, I don't want to drag all of them. But I want to drag these guys out. Why is this doing that? Drag these away from each other. I now we have. Hang on. I don't even know what's going on here. I'm gonna delete those really quick, and I'm gonna reselect all four of these. Drag them in, and it only did one. What is going on here? Let's try this again. Drag those in. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so I can see these a little bit better. There we go. I'm going to drag these out here to these uh, 10, 20, and 30 markers like that. Make sure they're all set there. And then if I just zoom in on our player, I'm going to move this camera out of our way. It's, it's just kind of in the way of our player. So, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit play here. And you'll see that he is moving, but it's, he's not, it's got this kind of jittery little deal to it. So, and the reason that is, is, so when we have each of our frames, it's, for instance, this animation here, it's holding this image for this amount of time here, and then it's holding the next image for this amount of time. But then when we get to our last one, it's only holding it for just a little bit here. So what I want to do is I want to come over here a little bit farther on the timeline. And I want to take that fourth image and I want to drag it in a second time to right here at this 40 marker point. Just like that. And then that should fix our issue here. So now it looks like he's walking in an up direction. Just like that. So. Now what I want to do is I want to just repeat that process for all of our animations here. So I'm going to go ahead and click this drop down arrow here and I'm going to create a new clip. We're going to call this walk down. And then if we scroll up to our walk down sprite sheet, we can highlight all of these, drag them all in. 
zoom in just a little bit, and then drag. Oh. And then drag all of these out to our markers, like that. Scroll on over just a little bit, and then drag that fourth one in. Pop it in right there. And then we can hit play, and now he is walking downward. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat that process for all of our uh, walking animations. I'm also going to include these walk down and left, walk down and right animations as well. So I'm going to do that right now, and I will be back in just a moment. All right, so now that I got all of these animations here set up for all of our sprite sheets on our player, um, Next thing I want to do is I want to open another window. We go back into our window, animation, and select animator. You'll see when we have our player selected, we have all of these animations in here um, to use. I don't want to use any of these nodes the way that they are. So I'm just going to highlight all of them and I'm going to click delete. And then that's not going to delete it from our project at all. We still have all of our animations in our animation folder to use. Um, but what I want to do is I want to right click and I want to create a new state from new blend tree. So and that's going to blend all of our animations together and make it a little bit easy for a, a little bit easier for us to to use. So I'm going to highlight the blend tree. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to rename it to uh, I'm going to name it to player underscore move just like that and then if we go ahead and double click on it we can click on this blend tree here and what I want to do is I want to make this animate depending on what keys we are pressing to move our player so I'm going to come over here uh, to parameters and with unity it automatically defaults a new parameter to blend it's a float that we can change I do want to float I don't want it to be called blend um, if you have an older version of unity this might not be here um, just go ahead and click this plus button and create a new float and this float what we're gonna call it is we're gonna call it move X and then we're going to create one more float, and we're going to call that move y, just like that. So now if we highlight our blend tree here, what I want to do is over in the inspector, this is set to pull off of just one variable. I want to set this to 2D simple directional. So and now in our parameters here, we can select move x, and then we can select move Y for our two parameters. So now that we have that, what I want to do is if we click this plus arrow to add a new motion field and click add motion field, um, I'm actually going to do this a few times. So specifically eight times because we have eight different directions that we want to move. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need one more. Add motion field. And then in these motion fields here, if we just go ahead and start at the top and click this little circle here, it'll bring up this window with our animations in it. I want to use the walk down. I want to use, if I click the next one, I want to use walk up. And on the next one, I want to use walk left and then walk right and now I'm going to do all of our diagonal animations as well so right here I'm going to say walk down left on the next one I'm going to say walk down right and then walk up left and walk up right just like that so now what do I want to do? I want to set these animations to go off of whatever our uh, horizontal and vertical axis is uh, 
set to. So what do we want to do? So when we're walking down, we want our x to be set to 0, and we want our y position to be set to negative 0.1, just like that. So I do it as 0.1 because if you were to notice down here, um, when we where we have our debug here for our axis, it doesn't snap directly to the number that we want it to be. Um, now, granted, it's staying well above one, but um, I just want to make sure that if there's any movement at all, I want these to start animating. So now on our walk up, we want our x to be zero, and then we want our y to be 0 0.1. On our, we want to move left. We want x to be minus 1. No, we want it to be minus 0.1. And on our y, we want it to be 0. And then to walk right, we want to say 0 0.1 on the x and 0 on the y. Now for the diagonal movements, so this is, what is this? What do we do? Walk down left first? Yeah. I had to, sorry, I had to pull that out some to be able to see all of the name of our animations. So walk down and left. So basically we're going to be combining these here. So we're going to say walk down, we want our Y position to be at negative 0.1. And if we're walking left, we also want our x position to be negative 0.1. And then down, walk down and right, we want our y position to be negative 0.1 and our x position to be 0.1. And then our walk up and left, we want our x to be negative 0.1 and our y to be 0.1, and then to walk up and right, we want our x position to be 0.1, and our y position to be 0.1, just like that. And now if we have this little gray bar down here, if we just click and drag that up like that, it'll give us a little preview of uh, the animation that's going to be used. Um, so up here, it put all of these blue dots, or blue diamonds, and these are just the position for our axis. Um, and we can drag this uh, little red dot. The closer it gets to these axes, you'll see down in that preview window, it's showing us the preview of the animation that we want to use. So it looks like everything is good. So. Now what I want to do is I want to set this in, set these numbers here from our player controller script. So if we go back into Visual Studio, let's go ahead and get rid of this debug.log. And underneath where we're setting our velocity, well actually first what I want to do is I want to go back up here and I want to create a new variable. I want to reference that uh, animator component. So, because once we, if you go back into Unity, once we created our first animation for our player, we highlight our player, it automatically added this uh, animator component and set our player controller here, which our player controller is basically just our animator. It controls all of our animations here. So, I want to reference this animator component. So we're going to do this the same way we did this rigid body. We're going to say private animator. And we're going to call this my anim. Like that. And then in our start function, underneath where we're setting what our rigid body is, we want to do the same thing for our animator. We're going to say my anim is equal to get component. And the component we want to get is the animator, just like that. So now below our velocity, 
in our update function, I want to just say when we're moving, set my anim dot set float because we want to set these float values here. And it's going to call for two arguments. Uh, the first one, it's going to ask for which float variable we want to set. And it's a string, so we have to use these uh, uh, quotation marks. And we want to type in the name of our variable uh, exactly how we have it in, in our animator. So we did it with a small m for move and a capital X like that. And then still within the brackets, we want to say comma the second we want to set it to whatever our uh, velocity is. So we're going to say, oh, not the, we want to say my rigid body dot velocity dot x for our x axis. And we can end that with a semicolon. And that's all we need to do for that. Now we also want to set it for our vertical uh, axis as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy all of this like that and paste it right below it. And I'm going to change this here to move y and my rigid body dot velocity dot y. Just like that. So now if we save this and let's go back into Unity and let's test this out. We wait for it to compile and hit play. You will see now our first up, our character is already animating itself in the down position. Um, you'll see it, if we're not moving, he's he looks like he's walking and we're going to fix that later. But for right now, we just want to make sure that if we move, he moves to the right, moves to the left, moves up, and he's currently always moving down. And then let's test our diagonal. So we're going to move left and up at the same time. He's got a diagonal movement, right and down, right and up, and down and left. Perfect. So it looks like all of these walk animations are working perfectly. So that's going to do it for this video. Um, next time what we'll do is we will set up an idle animation um, and we will fix uh, him kind of walking in place like this. We will also fix um, when we are moving to the right, we'll make it so that when we stop moving, he's still facing that direction as well, instead of jumping back down to the walk down animation. So um, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe down below. Um, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see in this game. If you have any ways to do this any better, I would love to know. But other than that, I will see you next time.